stunned and amazed audiences from The Tonight Show all the way to The First Family. And now, Justin Willman is performing in Austin at the Cap City Comedy Club. Yeah, our CW star Annika Chestnut talks with a comedian and magician about what audiences can expect. How did you get involved with magic? Because I hear it's kind of a funny story. I was riding my bike when I was 12 while wearing rollerblades to impress some girls and I was going down a hill and my rollerblades got caught in the gears of my bike ended up flailing over the handlebars and I broke both arms at the same time Ow. sexy yes and I was in cast for six months and my doctor recommended learning card tricks to get my dexterity back that's how I became a magician what is like your go-to magic trick if people put you on the spot what well, are you putting me on the spot mm, maybe Annika Okay, quick trick. Are you ready for this? All right, go. There are several genres of magic. There's appearing, there's color changing. There's also uh, where you cause one object to penetrate another object. Are you ready for that? Yes. Deck of cards. Let's go. Butter knife from the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Butter knife through the deck of cards. You see this? Can I get it? Can I get a no way from... The, there's no studio audience here, but that's amazing. It's not impressive until you know that inside there's a... Uh, there's, there's a... There's a giant block of steel. That's the only thing that makes it impressive. That's so um, cool. Magic. Magic. You also showed Hugh Jackman one of your magic tricks on The Late Show. I and did. Let's go to the tape. This is the famous Houdini red solo cup and oh, yes. Coca-Cola trick. Yes. Were you at all and like nervous at all that maybe he might dump a full cup of Coke on his head? Yeah. He seemed pretty here's nervous. here's the thing. So that's a trick that I've... That I've worked I've done for a very long time so I, you, you kind of you get overconfident that it's gonna work but then when it's Hugh Jackman on Jay Leno's couch you start to second-guess everything so my life flashed before my eyes and luckily it did work but I was more nervous for that than anything ever and well you were also featured on the Ellen show where you yeah. showed her some of your magic drawings that mystified Let's go to the her <laughs> And we're back. Yeah, <laughs> that was uh, that was the second most nerve-wracking thing ever because I did a bit where I have to shut my eyes and com put complete faith that Ellen is going to hopefully do what I wanted to do, and she did. Well, you're performing at the Cap City Comedy Club right now through January 24th. Yes. What can audiences expect to see from you? So, as a magician, I don't want to, you know, I want to guard my secrets, but. If, as a comedian, if, if you get me drunk, I'll tell you everything. So I think this little, the struggle of, of magic and comedy uh, will be very entertaining to the audiences. It makes it look very 3D. It's 3D like this. Okay. Daniel Kino, one of my best friends, hilarious comedian, is featuring this week as well. So I think it will be, uh, I think it'll be a blast, Austin. I want to be friends. Him. I want to be friends with yes. him, right? I think we both agree. He needs to come on every Friday yes. and show us a trick. And, and we'll have us. fun. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> now, Justin's going to be performing at the Cap City Comedy Club through January 24th. More details online now at thecwaustin.com. We have to ask Annika if he freaked her out. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> Too much fun. Excellent. We'll be right back with more news, weather, and traffic.